Hey guys, Tacoma Comics here, and I am doing a contest support video for the New York Warrior known as Erod212. So shout out to Erod. Um, I don't think I've bought books off of Erod. I've bought books from most of the guys in the New York Warriors, but uh, he's usually got some really nice, pricey, uh, beautiful variants. I just haven't pulled the trigger on one yet, but uh, <laughs> I've been tempted. So if you've ever seen his stuff... Um, he just has great content, really great stuff for the auction, and, and what's most impressive is he's really cut himself out this nice niche um, in cleaning and pressing comic books uh, for the community. I know he, he does it for a lot of people, um, and he, he doesn't overcharge, so just providing a great service and, and just a really great member of a community. So for his contest, he wants you, you know, the usual subscribe and, and whatever, um, but he wants you to show five books, or minimum of five, that you would like to get pressed. And um, the contest winner, he'll actually press five books for them, which I thought was just really freaking awesome. Um, plus, he's going to throw in some variants and I think an eBay gift card. So, uh, Erod, I think you're awesome. I know I've talked to you about one of these books before, and, and uh, even if I don't win, I'm definitely going to send you at least one of these books. Um, I just, I kind of just lost track of that that conversation we were having in, on Instagram. So, first book up is uh, First Alpha Flight, X Men 120. And let's see if I catch the light right. You'll see it's just crinkly. Um, not a lot of like, yeah, there you go. All right, you see all that. All of that can be pressed out. There's there's not a lot of um, like color breaking spine ticks. I mean, there's a few, but there's a lot of just like, like crinkles and like fingernail bends and stuff that uh, I think could easily be pressed out. Otherwise, it's it's a nice cover. It presents really well. The back can't be clean because there's, there's like a water damage spot here. You can see the light orange. Um, you can see another water damage spot down here. Um, but I still think this book would look really nice in my collection uh, with a nice um, cleaning and, and press. And probably one I'm going to get Claremont to sign at a Washington Summer Con in June. So it would be nice to have that one prepared. Next one up, um, I had two copies of this. I can't remember if this is the one that... Uh, I traded uh, with Poor Man Comics for, but this is X-Men 130, first appearance of Dazzler. The front cover of this is really nice, slight spine roll here. I think that would definitely press out. Um, the back, there's just some dirt along here. I don't know if you can see along the spine in the back. Um, yeah, right up there by that staple. Yeah, I don't even know if you can see it in the, in the video, but there's, there's a... There's a little bit of discoloration there, but I, it doesn't look like it's soiled or anything. That might be something for somebody who knows how to clean, to clean out. I mean, we're get, talking white pages. This is a, it's like a 9-0 candidate. Um, now, yeah, I mean, there's the tiniest of rips right there. Um, tears or not tear, just color breaking tick. Um, so I don't know. Not a spine tick, a top cover tick, whatever that's called. Uh, maybe it is a tear. I don't know. It, it looks really nice, and I think it could really be imp um, improved. Uh, same with this one. This one I, is just a little bit dirty. Um, dirty White Queen. And it's got some crinkles down here. Uh, is that? Oh, you know what? <laughs> it looks maybe this water damage. I didn't even notice that bit there. So, you know, it's the theme here with my X-Men 120, 120, 130, 131. Um, there's also a spine roll here. The back has a whole bunch of, uh, again, it's just things that would come out in a press. Um, so I think it would make this book look really nice. You know, part of my, my difficulty with this is I'm not a, uh, a slab guy. So if I have the book and it looks nice, I don't feel like an incredible strong desire to get it slabbed like, or get it um, clean so I can get that higher bump on the slab. Um, but I may eventually start slabbing some of my uh, my pricier books, you know, just because you don't do it now doesn't mean you'll never do that. Uh, so that is, that's First Kitty Pride, by the way, also, right? I believe First Kitty Pride. Um, not when she joins the X-Men, but her first, uh, yeah, she's on the cover with Nightcrawler grabbing her, about to bamf away. Um, and then the first rest of the Hellfire Club, 132, just to complete the uh, the trifecta there, 30, 31, 32, we definitely have um, spine roll here, but nothing can't be done. No ticks, so this is, you know, this one will really clean up nicely with a, a press, and then the back cover 
just some some schmutz down down the bottom here. I don't know if schmutz. Yeah, you can see that schmutz. Those are like those light brown. I think those are water spots. Um, like not like somebody spilled water, but like just humidity. So I'm not sure if that's going to come out. But anyway, I think all four of those those X Men books will be improved uh, with a cleaning and and, and a press. Uh, so it's something to for me to consider, even if I don't win the contest, which I will. Just saying. I look at this one. I don't. I don't see anything wrong with this. I, I thought this was a, a one I had it out, but um, back cover is beautiful. Front cover is beautiful. First print, Isagi Yojimbo. Isagi Yojimbo. should do a video just on that. Where do you fall with Usagi Usagi? Uh, this one is the one that I was talking to Erod about and probably the one I will still send off. Um, I'm upset that this writing, somebody put like a date on there or something is there otherwise um you know this has some color breaking spine ticks but it also has just some uh crinkles and some depressions that can be pressed out and maybe even a clean could clean up some of this stuff um so erod said this one would definitely benefit from a pressing and uh this is one that i probably will send off to him pages are nice nice white pages too um, and I got this for 20 bucks, man. I was super stoked. This was stoked watching too many Doom videos. I was super psyched, man. Um, yeah, it, it's a beautiful book. It's in beautiful condition for, you know, a number one Kirby book, uh, 15 center. I, I love this book. Um, so that one I definitely will, will send off to Erod at some point when I, uh, get contact with you, buddy. Um, the last two are, are the most interesting one. Um, I don't like having a 9.4 on this. Um, I want a 9.6 nine, nine, or 9.8. I don't know why this is the most expensive book. Uh, well, the book I've paid the most. I might have books that are worth more. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see in this video. There's like a rippling down there that might be able to be flattened. I have no idea if this was pressed before I bought it. Um, I, don't, I don't see why this is a 9.4. You know, and, and I bought this slab, so I don't have graders notes. Um, well, this is the the absolute uh, first full appearance of Kamala Khan in her costume as Miss Marvel. Um, you know, she's got a cameo in the back of number 17. And then she's got like a, a super brief cameo in 14. But uh, this one predates uh, all new Marvel now point one where there's the first story of her. So. And this was a very low print run. So this is a big book. Um, really one of the only books I can say is like a big boy book. I mean, I guess Mr. Miracle and Usagi are up there. Um, you know, I just don't see where the 9-4-ishness is coming from. Um, I'd love for <laughs> I'd love to find out. So this is one I might seriously consider cracking, getting a press, getting Kelly Sue, and even, I don't know, I'd get Kelly Sue to sign it. I might even get G. Willow Wilson to sign it. Um, even though she's not a creator on this book, she certainly is intermittently woven and, and um, just just right there with, with uh, Kamala Khan. So, I don't know. That's a possibility. The last one, this is one of those do-it-yourself slabs. This is not a slabbed comic. It's just in a plastic case. Uh Saga number one, first print, signed by Fiona Staples. You can see right there on Marco's um, jacket, that needs to be pressed out. Um, I think if this got a press, this would really be a 9-8 candidate. Um, there's a loop on the back. Okay. One, 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 one. But if you look carefully, you'll see that's... Uh, that's the biggest problem on the back. So this one um, would absolutely benefit from a nice pressing. I don't even know if it needs a cleaning, but a nice pressing. Um, and I would, uh, without a doubt, get this one um, slab, but not till I get uh, Brian K. Vaughan's signature on this. Now, I love having Fiona Staples on this. I was shaking when I met her. It's really funny. Um, she's just so awesome, but I would definitely want I would definitely want um, Brian K. Vaughan's signature before I slap this one. Um, so yeah, 
There it is, my friends. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody that follows me is subbed up to Erod, but if you're not subbed up to Erod212, go ahead and, and, and sub him up. He's, he's a great guy. Um, all the New York Warriors are their individual stuff as well as their, their shows that they do together on Biggie's uh, channel Monday nights as well as uh, the auctions on Tuesday nights. Really awesome stuff. Erod, congratulations on 800 subs. That's huge. And, uh, you know, I hope I win. If not, I can't wait to see the books the person does win. And I'll definitely get in touch with you at some point about uh, getting some press on and clean on these books when, when we both get the time. All right. Take care.